In this video, I will show you how I transform this image into this one. If you want to follow along, you can find the images in the description of the video. All right, you can see here, I already got rid of this background, so I don't have to waste time on that. So let's just start with making a new document, new file. And the size I'm going to use is 3000 by 3750, right? So let's create, let's leave the resolution 300 in case I want to use it for print. And let's just start with creating. And first of all, I got rid of this background. So let me make a smart object here first and drag this in our file. Now let's see if we put this a little bit like that. Let's make the background black by pressing Ctrl I to invert the colors. And next thing I want to do is to add a background here. Right, so I have to find this background. I think this will look pretty cool. Let's put it behind him and make it bigger. Like that, move it to that side. I don't need this moon, maybe I'll remove it later. All right, let's first make the background dark. So I'm going to press Ctrl U to bring up these view and situation window. And here I'm just going to drop the lightness really low. So we have all our focus on this gorilla here. Right, so next thing to do is I want to create something light here where the moon is. And not in the background, in the foreground. So let's first take something bluish, a little bit like almost white to blue something like this and make a new layer let's make this brush bigger and just use a normal brush here let's just make this start here so this will be the stuff that's going to be light right so like that all right now we need to make sure this gorilla is a bit darker so we can create some focus on the lighting area here so what i'm going to do is make them dark and make another curse and this one I'm going to use to make him light. So I always use two curves, one for dark, one for light. Let's press Ctrl I on this mask so we get rid of it. And just press this back and we have like this night, nice light spot. You can also do it a little bit maybe here. So it doesn't get too dark. A bit here, like that. Just some highlights to make this look better. Don't do it too much, just a bit like it. All right, now we can put something here. So I want to put some jellyfish here that's like floating in the air, something like this. Let's first put this here and make sure this black is real black. So I'm going to press Control L or Command L and click on this black while selecting this black color. So we now we made sure it's all black. As you can see here, it's not really black. So let's do it again. Press Control L. Command L, select this one and let's make this like that. All right, so that's fine. The little parts here you can just brush away if you want to do it perfect. All right, let's put this somewhere here. Let's make sure this is also a smart object so we don't mess with the quality here. Like that, you can don't even see the moon anymore, so that's good. Let's put this maybe a bit, bit like that. Need to have like realistic sizes so it doesn't this doesn't get too small or too big. Maybe a little bit bigger and rotate it like that. All right, so this is our light, and now we need to make sure it looks better because it doesn't look good now, right? So let's first work on these jellyfish here. So what I'm going to do is also create a curse layer on top of them, and let's first make them really light like that so that looks a lot better already and this light here I think it's a bit too blue so I'm gonna press ctrl U and increase the lightness to make it a bit more white I don't want to have it too blue now we can always change the color later on All right I think this looks fine like that okay let's let's now give this a bit more depth because it feels so flat this image so what i'm going to do is select these layers let's put this in a folder and press ctrl j to duplicate those and make them maybe really big like this like there's more of these jellyfish floating out i'm gonna press ctrl e to make this one layer change it to screen again 
let's make a smart object again and then go to filter and give it a bit of a blur so Gaussian blur is fine here let's see maybe if we give it like something like this in the foreground this is fine and try to pick a nice spot for these jellyfish now we don't want to see the same jellyfish so let's flip this horizontal and try to see maybe something like this let's remove this one so i'm gonna make a mask here and get rid of this one this one is distracting me too much i don't want to ruin this image i just want to have some jellyfish floating around maybe rotate it like that all right so just play around with these and pick some nice spots for these jellyfish you can eventually even duplicate it another time and maybe somewhere there let's see if i can do this this will make this image like more depth you can also drop the opacity so we still have all the focus on this area and not the stuff that's going on around it like that maybe even one time more you can even import other jellyfish but i'm a bit lazy to add other jellyfish i'm just gonna use these ones i think this is fine let's see maybe a bit smaller like that all right now let's work on this gorilla because this gorilla is still a bit too light and the back oh let's do the background first let's rasterize the background let's make sure the background is blurred out because you can see the the details of the background here i don't want to see the details so let's give it a lens blur so for the background it's better to use lens blur instead of gaussian blur and just bring it all the way up so it's really blurred out like that press ok and that's it that's good for the background all right let's now work on this lighting from this jellyfish here because i feel like it doesn't look good right so first of all we need to make sure this gorilla is even a bit darker than this so what i'm going to do is let me adjust these settings here this is from the highlights we can drop this to give it a little bit more contrast like that all right and let's also make these this is the dark part we can also give it a bit more contrast here like that all right and now we can do a bit of a brushing so i'm gonna create a new layer and brush a bit of these areas down there darker so let's first make a 50 percent gray layer and select here the burn tool and just do a bit of a brushing like here let's make sure to select highlights first bring it up like that not too much just a bit and some midtones here drop the exposure this is just something i always like to do to get the lighting better and drop the exposure again here and that's it not much so you can see the difference it got a bit darker there all right now we can work on this lighting here to make it even better i feel like this area here is a bit empty so we, we could maybe add some stars in the background or something like that or move this jellyfish there so anyways let's first make sure this jellyfish look better so i'm gonna create a new layer and here i'm gonna select some something really blue so this is what i'm going to use to make the colors better here so let me first make a dot like that bring it here and here you can select overlay or soft light for this one overlay looks pretty nice let's make this bigger i think this looks pretty cool and i can just duplicate this and if you want you can bring it to the other chili fishes here duplicate it to give it a bit more color to this image let's stretch it out let's do one more for these here right so this looks pretty fine all right, let's add some mist to this composite. So I have these mist brushes here that you can use. You can use any mist brush that you want. Make sure the mist brush is like white or in this case, maybe even like a little bit of bluish, something like this. And let's put some mist around this to make this like more mysterious like that. And now you can just duplicate these layers and move them around. All right, let's now do some final blending to this so what i'm going to do is 
duplicate this layer or sorry create a new layer and press command alt shift e so you have like this duplicated version of everything make a smart object and then go to filter camera and here we can do some adjustments to make this look better so let me first drop the exposure a bit here and let's leave the contrast maybe some more highlights can make the shadows darker can increase the whites let's make the blacks a little bit lighter so it doesn't get too dark now and if we drop the texture we get this soft effect which i really like let's see maybe if we move these around all right i'm gonna leave this and let's move to to detail give it a bit sharpening which is pretty much the same thing i always do when i finalize this design all right let's see we have some aquas here maybe a bit more greenish not too much and also some situation here to make sure we have still all these colors popping out like that and now let's move on to let's see to calibration we can also add some vignette here so we have more focus on the center instead of all the stuff that's going on around it let's see let's do some calibration here to get even nice more nice colors i think something like this is fine it got a bit green now i think but maybe a bit more bluish like that all right and once you're done just press ok and you can see the difference it looks a lot better now all right now we can do some other adjustments here so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna select color lookup and select this three strip lut to make these colors really pop out and drop the opacity like that so this is fine you can see here i imported this into lightroom and here i'm gonna apply one of my presets to make this really creative if you want to get these presets you can check the link in the description as you can see here this image got a whole lot different than the original one so this is what i usually do and here i'm just doing some final adjustments to make this look better and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to catch you on the next one